Hello, my name is Evangelo Spiro and I'm from the Laboratory of Knowledge and Intelligent Computing at the University of Ioanna. And I will be presenting Octave uh, in the framework of the project Embedding Gets and Work-Based Learning into Mechatronic Profile. The contents of this presentation will start with the introduction, then we will uh, go to through uh, Start, Quit and Help. Uh, some information regarding variables and data types of Octave, the matrices uh, or plots, programming, and finally functions and scripts. Uh, and just to introduce Octave, uh, Octave is an essential and open source version of MATLAB, and it's a high level uh, language and a mathematical programming environment. It is suitable for visualization, algorithm development, linear uh, algebra, optimization, signal processing, and image processing. To initiate the Octave tool, you just have to either type Octave in the shell command prompt or double click the Octave app. Uh, you will see the prompt uh, that you will see with the Octave uh, colon one. Uh, if you get into some kind of messy state, type Control C to interrupt the tool. In order to exit, type quit or exit. For help, type help or doc. For a specific command uh, type, help command. For example, help uh, plot. For help on the help system, type uh, help help. And type Q to exit the help mode. For the variables and data types, we have the matrices, which are real and complex structures, strings, which are matrices of charts, uh, vectors, with, which is a matrix with one column uh, row, a scalar, which is a matrix of dimension one by one, integer, which is a double a boolean, is an integer of uh, non-null equals true, uh, zero false, and almost everything is a matrix. We can create a matrix from the command prompt, uh, such as a equals seven comma six comma two semicolon four comma minus one comma five semicolon nine comma seven comma minus five. The octave will show the matrix in the following form: seven six two row, four minus one five another row, and nine seven minus five uh, third row. Before we go to the character string creation, note that the Octave command prompt increments by one whenever you use another uh, command. So if you see Octave 4 and then Octave 5, 6 and 7, it's just the, the Octave command prompt. Now, going to the character string uh, creation, we can do an str equals hello world. And we can also uh, declare structs uh, with the data.id equals 5, uh, data.timestamp equals 1000. Uh, 265.5983 and uh, data.name equals sensor one from. We can also have an array of structures creation and such we can extend the struct by data uh, in parenthesis 2.id equals 4, uh, data uh, 2 uh, timestamp equals 1268.9613 uh, and uh, data of two uh, dot name equals sensor one from and then we will get the response that we have a one by two struct array containing the fields id timestamp and name in order to display a variable we can do from the command prompt the for example alpha if we have set uh, uh, alpha equals 4, then the result will be uh, alpha equals 4. If we don't want to output uh, the value of the variable, we use a semicolon, whereby from the command prompt we use the alpha semicolon and nothing gets outputted on the uh, prompt. The variables do not uh, have a permanent type. We can do an alpha equals 4 and then an alpha equals hello, and we can use who to list the predefined uh, variables. Numerical precision. Variables are stored as double precision numbers in IEEE floating point format, where real main is the smallest uh, positive floating point number, as we can see uh, here. And the real max is the largest positive floating point number that we can see here. Uh, APS is relative precision as well. Talking about the control display of floats, we have the format uh, short 
which is a fixed point format with five digits, the format long, which is a fixed uh, point format with 15 digits, the format short E, which is a floating point format with five digits, the format long E, which is a floating point format with 15 digits, uh, the format short G, which is a best, best of fixed or floating point with five uh, digits, and the format long uh, G, which is a best of fixed or floating point with uh, 15 digits. Uh, a bit of the discussion on floating variables. Uh, we have the ceiling uh, of X, uh, which is the round to smaller integer, not less than X. The floor uh, of X, which is the round to larger integer, not greater than X. The round of X, uh, which is the round uh, uh, towards nearest integer. And the fix of X, which is around to one uh, zero. Uh, note that if X is a matrix, the functions are applied element wise. We can declare a matrix uh, as we can see from the command prompt, uh, such as uh, A equals eight comma two comma one, semicolon three comma minus one comma four, semicolon seven comma six comma five, or we can use the same numbers without the commas separated by semicolon and the columns are delimited using comma or space and rows are delimited using semicolon. We can uh, create a, a matrix for matrices. Uh, an example is given below where uh, A equals 111 semicolon 222 and B equals 33 comma, uh, semicolon 33. Uh, in order to do a column wise, uh, creation, we can do a C equals A B uh, in uh, br uh, brackets and the result will be 11133 and 22233. Uh, for row wise, uh, we can uh, do from the command prompt D equals A semicolon uh, bracket 44, 44, 44 bracket and with this in brackets as well. And the result will be 111, 2, 2, 2, 44, 44, 44. A few words on indexing as well. Uh, we always consider rows before columns. Uh, an example is uh, a, uh, alpha a, uh, ij equals a of i, comma j in order to get an element. Uh, g equals alpha of uh, i, comma colon to get uh, a row. F equals uh, alpha a. Uh, colon comma j to get a column and uh, b equals a uh, of uh, i colon uh, k comma j uh, colon one to get a sub matrix. Uh, we can also use the indexing command uh, n uh, where uh, we have a uh, matrix uh, data uh, equals four minus one thirty five nine eleven and minus two and uh, in order to get the sub matrix, we we'll do a D equals data three colon end, and uh, the result will be uh, the matrix we had before from 35 uh, starting to, and then nine, 11, and minus two, which means the end. The column has two meanings. Uh, we can select an entire matrix row or column as they're given below with A3, comma, uh, colon, and B, uh, uh, colon, comma, 5. Uh, we can also define a range of expressions, uh, such as indices uh, 1, column 5 will give us the vector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and steps 1, column 3, column 61 will give us the row vector 1, comma, 4, comma, 7, and so on, uh, up to 61. We see that the first number before the first column is the starting point, the middle number among the two columns is the increment, and the last number is the stopping point. For the assignment of a row or a column, note that all the reference elements are set to the scalar value. So if we have a uh, matrix uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, col semicolon, uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, semicolon, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, uh, and we set uh, uh, A, uh, three comma colon uh, colon equals to minus uh, three, and then we do uh, an a uh, four comma colon equals to four. Then the result uh, will be one two three four five two 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 minus three minus three minus three minus three minus three, and four 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 four. 
row or column deletion is taking place by assigning the empty matrix which deletes the reference rows or columns. If we do in the command prompt an A uh, two comma colon equals the empty matrix, uh, then we get uh, the result of one, uh, two, three, four, five, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three, and four, 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 four. Uh, then if we do an A uh, colon comma one colon two colon five uh, equals the empty matrix, we get the result of two, four, two, two, minus three, minus three, and four, four. For the size, uh, we have the NR size uh, A, uh, comma 1, which is the number of uh, rows of, L, of A. Uh, NC size uh, A, comma 2, uh, which is the number of uh, columns of A. Uh, NR and C uh, equal size uh, of A, uh, which is both, and we have to remember the order. Uh, the L uh, equals the length of A, uh, whatever is bigger. Uh, the numeral uh, of A is the number of elements in uh, A. Uh, is empty A checks if A is empty, uh, the, the empty matrix. Uh, NR rows A is the number of rows of A. And NC columns A is the number of columns. Here we see some matrix operation examples. Uh, B equals 3 times A, we can multiply by a scalar. C equals A times b plus x minus d, we can under multiply. b equals a prime, which is the transpose of a. a, a. Uh, b equals inf of a, uh, we can invert a. Uh, s equals v prime times q times v, we can, where we can mix vectors and matrices. d equals the determinant of uh, a. Uh, bracket v, lambda bracket equal, equals a of A, which is the eigenvalue of the composition, and bracket U, uh, SV, equals uh, SVD of A, which is the same value of the composition. Uh, some vector operations, with uh, X uh, being a column vector, S uh, equals uh, X prime uh, times X is the inner product. Uh, the result is also a scalar. Uh, Capital X equals X uh, times X prime, the outer product, uh, well, the, the result is a matrix. Uh, e equals X times X gives an error. Uh, also, uh, we can have element-wise operations for vectors and uh, matrices. Uh, S equals uh, X dot uh, plus uh, X uh, is an element-wise addition. Uh, P equals x dot uh, times x element-wise multiplication. Uh, Q equals x dot uh, divided by x uh, element-wise division. And E uh, equals x dot uh, to the power of three element-wise power operator. Some useful vector functions is the sum of V, which is the sum of elements of V. Uh, come sum uh, of V, uh, cumulative uh, sum of uh, elements of V. Uh, prod of V is the product of elements of V. Uh, come prod of V, the cumulative uh, product of elements of V. Uh, diff of V uh, is the difference of the subsequent uh, elements uh, V2, uh, V1, V3, uh, V2 minus V1, V3 minus V2, and so on. Uh, mean of V is the mean value of elements in V. STD of V is a standard deviation of elements. Uh, mean of V is the smallest element in V. Max of V is the returns to the largest element in V. Sort V ascend. Uh, we sort in an ascending uh, order. Sort of V uh, descend. We sort in a descending order. And find of V return a vector of indices of all non-zero elements in V. We also have some spatial uh, uh, matrices. Uh, some examples are uh, A equals zero of uh, M comma N, which is a zero matrix of size M by N. Uh, B equals one uh, of uh, M comma N, which is a matrix of uh, size M by N with all ones. Uh, I equals I of N, uh, which is an identity matrix of size N. Uh, D equals diagonal of uh, ABC within the brackets, which is diagonal matrix of size three by three with A comma B comma C in the main diagonal. Uh, M equals magic of N, 
which is a magic square, uh, square matrix of size n by n. Uh, also, all the rows and columns uh, sum up to the same number. Uh, in addition, we have random matrices and uh, vectors with uh, R equals round of uh, uh, M comma N uh, being the matrix uh, with M by N uniformly distributed random numbers from interval uh, one, uh, 0 to 1. Uh, N equals round N of uh, M comma N with a row vector of M by N normally distributed random numbers with zero mean unit variance and V equals round perm of N, row, uh, row vector with a random permutation of the numbers 1 to 1. We can also declare multidimensional uh, matrices, uh, for example, three-dimensional matrix. Uh, from the command prompt, we can uh, declare A equal ones uh, of 2, 5, 2, and the uh, octave will output the following, uh, the answer of uh, colon, comma, comma, colon, comma, 1, being uh, uh, two rows uh, with uh, five one uh, elements and uh, similarly for uh, uh, the answer of uh, colon uh, comma colon comma two all uh, operations to create index add assign delete and get size apply in the same fashion we also have the reshape of uh, A, N, N, where we change the size of matrix A to have dimension M by N. An error results if uh, A does not have M by N elements. Uh, the circ shift uh, A of uh, M, N within brackets, uh, we shift elements of A, M times in a row dimension and N times in column dimension. The shift uh, dim A, N, uh, we shift the dimension of A by N and generalizes transpose of multidimensional matrices. Examples uh, that are given, we make it uh, two uh, by n matrix. Uh, uh, Octave will uh, uh, declare P equals reshape uh, P of comma two, comma numel P divided by two. Uh, in order to add the third row and uh, assign P uh, divided by two, uh, in the command prompt, we do a p uh, of uh, three comma colon equals p, p divided by two, and to reshape it to a three uh, n by one column vector. Uh, in the command prompt, we do a p equals reshape uh, of p comma numel p comma one. Moving towards plots, uh, we can uh, create a two D plot uh, by using the command uh, plot. Uh, uh, of x comma cosine of uh, x where it displays uh, x comma y plot uh, figure uh, of n creates a figure window n uh, figure creates new window with identifier incremented by one uh, we can have a series of uh, x uh, comma y plots uh, for example plot x uh, comma uh, cosine of x uh, x comma uh, sine of uh, x, uh, comma x, uh, comma x dot uh, in the power to the power of two, and uh, we can add a legend to the plot uh, using legend uh, cos cosine of x, uh, comma sine of x, uh, comma x uh, uh, to the power of two, uh, element wise. Uh, 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 command hold on allows multiple plots to be shown on the same figure. We also have some useful commands, with CLF being the clearing of uh, the figure. Hold on holds the uh, axis and does not replace the plot with a new plot, so it superimposes the plots. The grid on adds grid uh, lines. Grid off removes uh, grid lines. Uh, title of experiment one, for example, sets uh, title on figure window. Uh, X label time sets label of uh, X axis to be time. Uh, y label uh, prop sets the label of uh, y axis and subplot puts uh, several plot axes into the figure. Uh, some symbols and colors in uh, plot uh, of x, uh, comma cosine of x, uh, comma r plus, uh, the format exp expression r uh, plus means red cross. There are a number of line styles and colors. Uh, we can actually see them with the help uh, plot command. And uh, also on the command prompt, if we do an uh, x uh, equals linear space of uh, 0, 0,2 times pi uh, 
comma 100 and uh, then plot uh, x comma uh, cosine of x uh, comma r plus comma x uh, comma sin sine of x comma bx uh, we can have uh, different uh, styles we can also adjust the uh, the axis by doing the command prompt the axis uh, 0 uh, 2 times pi minus 1 1 uh, we can add a legend lab labels and a title uh, with legend uh, being uh, cosine of x sine of x and location southwest uh, the title being trigonometric functions x label uh, x uh, y label y and we can control uh, color and marker size with the uh, plot x comma cosine of x comma r plus comma x comma sine of x uh, comma minus uh, x a color uh, within brackets are one uh, then point uh, four point eight and a marker size of two and we can do an access tight uh, we can also add text with text uh, uh, command uh, of uh, one uh, comma minus uh, zero point five comma cos of uh, phi uh, and uh, the text of uh, three comma uh, 0 0.5 sine of phi where phi equals uh, the, the phi of the Greek alphabet and here we see uh, the cosine of uh, phi and sine of phi with the markers and the colors we can also export some figures with the uh, print dash dps my pick bw eps uh, where we export the bw eps file uh, we can do a print uh, dash d epsc my pick eps where we export color eps files uh, print uh, dash uh, djpeg uh, dash r80 my pick uh, dot jpg which exports uh, jpg in 80 ppi and print uh, dash dpng uh, dash r100 my pick dot png which uh, exports png in 100 ppi Print can also be called as a function, then it takes arguments and options as a comma separated list. For example, print uh, of uh, uh, dash uh, dpng uh, dash uh, r100 uh, comma my pick dot png. And for the 3D plotting, most 2D commands have uh, 2D commands uh, have equivalent 3D ones. Uh, such as uh, bar 3, scatter 3, uh, etc. Moving towards programming, indices be begin with 1 and not uh, 0 in octave. Octave is also case uh, sensitive. Uh, we have the if statement uh, where we can see below if condition, then body, else if condition, else if body, else, else body, and end. The switch statement, which is a switch expression, case label, command list, case, case label, command list, otherwise command list, and end. We also have the while statement where we have the while condition, the body of the statement, and the end. And for the for statement, uh, for a variable equals expression, then we declare the body and uh, end uh, the for statement. We can uh, interrupt and continue loops uh, with the break where it jumps out of the innermost uh, for or while loop that encloses it and continue, which is used only inside the for or while loop. It skips over the rest of the loop body, causing the next cycle to begin. We can also increment operators, increase or uh, decrease the value of a variable by one with the I++ where it increments scalar uh, I by one i minus minus decrement the scalar y by one uh, capital a plus plus increment all elements of matrix a by one and v minus minus decrement all elements of vector v by one there are the c and c plus plus equivalent operators of uh, 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 plus plus i and minus minus capital a we also have comparison operators that return a value of 1 if the comparison is true or 0 if it is false. 
Examples are given below, such as uh, when i is equal to 6 and when condition cond 1 equals d greater than beta. For the matrix to matrix case, the comparison is made on an element wise basis. So if we have a matrix of 1, 2, semicolon 3, 4, which is equal to 1, 3, semicolon 2, 4, this returns 1, 0, semicolon 0, 1. For the matrix to scalar case, the scalar is compared to each element in turn. So if we have a 1, 2, semicolon 3, 4 matrix, which is equal to 2, returns 0, 1, semicolon 0, 0. The comparison of operators uh, will have uh, the uh, any of v, which uh, returns 1 if any element of vector v is non-zero. All of v returns 1 if all the elements in vector v are non-zero. For matrices, any and all return a row vector with elements corresponding to the columns of the matrix. Any of any of C, capital C, returns 1 if any elements of the matrix C is non-zero and all of all of C, capital C again, returns 1 if all the elements in matrix C are non-zero. Octave also has relational operators. Uh, some examples are given below. Uh, we have the x uh, less than y, uh, which is true if x is less than y, x uh, less than equal than uh, y, which is true if x uh, is less than or equal to y, x uh, equals uh, uh, y, is, which is true if x is equal to y, uh, x uh, greater or equal uh, uh, to y, which is true if x is greater than or equal to y, uh, x uh, greater than uh, y, which is true if x is greater than y, uh, x not uh, y, which is true if x is not equal to y, uh, and the remaining two oper uh, operators uh, do exactly uh, the same thing. We also have uh, Boolean expressions with B1 uh, and uh, B2, which is an element-wise logical and. A B1 or B2 element wise logical or, uh, not uh, B element wise logical not, and uh, not B with the exclamation mark, which is an element wise logical not as well. We have some short circuit uh, operations as well with the B1 double and B2 short circuit logical and, and B uh, uh, double or B2 short circuit uh, logical or. Moving towards functions and scripts, Octave programs can be made more elegant by using functions. Functions are defined in external files and can be called like built-in functions with the function name, the body of the function, and the end of the function. It is a good uh, practice to define one function per M file. We can pass parameters to and from functions as we see in the example below with the functions uh, red var uh, equals the name of the argument list and then the body and the end uh, of the function. The arg list is a comma separated list of input arguments. Uh, the red var is a comma separated list of output arguments. Uh, vector enclosed in square brackets. Here we see some uh, examples of uh, functions and uh, scripts. Local variables and variable number of arguments. Uh, the variables within uh, body are local variables. Uh, the var argin uh, gets uh, all input uh, arguments in a cell array and we obtain them with the var argin uh, curly brackets uh, i. Uh, the var arg out gets uh, the output arguments in a cell array and we obtain them with the var arg out uh, within uh, curly brackets of i. Uh, the nargin obtains the number of input arguments. The nargout obtains the number of output arguments. The function that resides in an M file must have the same name as the respective M file. For example, the function calcTherm should be in a file called calcTherm.m. We can call a function by typing its name without the M extension. Also very useful is the comments with the percentage uh, symbol, which is a very good practice. 
The second type of uh, M files is called a script. Octave scripts are text files with an uh, M extension. Scripts contain executable code. They are basically the main programs. We can execute a script by typing its name without the M extension, for example, localize robot. And we have to set the paths as well, where path uh, prints the search path list, add path uh, directory, uh, prepend the specified uh, directory to path list, RM path uh, or directory removes the specified directory from the path list, and save path uh, saves the current path list. For the conclusions, uh, we describe the open source version of MATLAB we call Octave. It is a quite powerful tool used in a, as a high level uh, language with large mathematical potential. We can write simulation code and plot the output to see the result. We can use it as a common mathematical programming language. And it's a very useful when, uh, tool when attempting to perform co complex systems uh, simulation. And uh, here's where uh, the reference of uh, this presentation that uh, we just uh, gave. Thank you for your attention.